This video will provide an introduction to investigating science, a new stage six subject. In science and technology, everything changes so fast and is so interconnected. Content changes every day. Current, accurate, reliable information has become a major and marketable commodity. Finally, we have a science course that caters for 21st century workers, and that's you. Investigating science is focused on 21st century skills that you, as the initial true digital natives, are expected to bring to your future workplace. Investigating science is about valuing investigation and solving problems. Students will enhance their analytical and problem solving skills, enabling them to engage with and positively participate in an ever-changing interconnected technological world. Investigating science works in tandem with your core science course deepening your understanding of the science concepts that you will be introduced to, investigating their current and future uses and the impact of your area of study on science and your society. So, how is this course organised? There are four main objectives covered over the two years. The first one is develop knowledge and understanding of cause and effect. Second, develop knowledge and understanding of models, theories and laws. Next, it's develop knowledge and understanding of science and technology. And the last one is develop knowledge and understanding of contemporary issues involving science. In year 11, you will complete four modules. Cause and effect, observing. Cause and effect, inference and generalizations. Scientific models. And your last model will be on theories and laws. In Year 12, you will continue your study of how science works by completing the following four modules. Science investigations, technologies, fact or fallacy, and science and society. The working scientifically outcomes in the centre part of this wheel will be integrated into every module every time you undertake an investigation. And these include questioning and practising, planning investigations, conducting investigations, processing data and information, analysing data and information, problem solving and communicating. Whilst completing these modules, you'll be conducting your own depth study. This will allow you to pursue your own interest in science, acquire a depth of understanding and take responsibility for your own learning. A depth study must take a minimum of 30 hours of in-class time in both Year 11 and Year 12. These are some suggestions for your depth study from the NISA syllabus. And as you can see, they can either be practical or there are some secondary source investigations which require you to do a fair bit of reading and looking out for some literature. Prerequisites. You must be undertaking another science subject if you wish to enrol in investigating science. We'll be using your studies in biology, chemistry or physics as the inspiration for your depth study. You'll also need to have good literacy skills and be prepared to work independently on your depth study. You will be assessed on your depth studies, small assignments throughout the year and an examination. This unit will provide you with the skills and knowledge to undertake any science-based course at university. It will encourage you to question announcements that go against scientific findings and create informed, educated citizens. This infographic from the Chief Scientist CSIRO gives you an idea of the kind of careers you can go into doing a STEM subject like investigating science and the success of graduates who do then go on to work in the STEM industries. If you want more information, you can ask Mr Byrne, Mrs Walker or Mrs Harrington or you can type investigating science syllabus into your search engine and read what the Board of Studies or NISA has to say.